including schools, restaurant, dining, and bars, and most importantly, pleas for social distancing. I clearly understand that the decisions that have been made and the actions taken will negatively impact individuals and businesses in our community. And I want you to know that those decisions have never been made lightly. However, the health and well-being of our citizens will remain my number one responsibility. Enacting the Safer at Home order is a necessary step in reducing the transmission of COVID-19. The majority of our citizens have taken the cor cor coronavirus seriously and are staying at home. However, we must ensure that everyone takes this issue seriously, accepts and understands their personal responsibility, and practices social distancing. This order is not a shutdown. It simply requires you stay at home if at all possible. Essential businesses will remain open and businesses and professions that by their nature can allow individuals to practice social distancing will remain open. All essential city services will also continue. Non-essential businesses that are unable to maintain social distancing requirements of six feet will close. This order is a protective but practical approach to keeping everyone in our community safe. Under the county safer at home order, you can go to the grocery, convenience store, or big box stores. Go to the pharmacy to pick up medications or other health care necessities. Go to a restaurant for takeout or drive through Care or support a friend or family member. Go to a medical appointment, but we would ask you to check with your doctor or provider first. Take a walk, ride your bike, hike, jog, be in the nature for exercise. Again, we're just asking you to do that while keeping six foot distance between yourself and others. Walk your pets or take them to the veterinarian if necessary. Help someone get necessary supplies. What you should not do is go to work unless you are providing essential services as defined by this executive order. This list is very liberal and can be found on our website. We would ask you not to visit friends and family if there is no urgent need. Be closer than six foot to others when you go out and do not visit loved ones in the hospital, nursing home, skilled nursing facility, or other residential care facility. I also encourage everyone with questions to visit tampagov.net for further details, and a listing of all of the essential service providers is on our website. This is a very difficult time for our city, our state, our nation and our world as we adjust to a new normal that has upended so many facets of our lives. In a matter of days, it has changed how we work, earn an income, spend time with friends and family, and how our children learn. It's becoming clearer every day that COVID-19 is a generational moment. It will have its heroes on the front lines our healthcare workers, our doctors, our nurses, our fire rescue and paramedics, our police officers, and those who work in essential jobs. It will also have its heroes on the home front, those who are sewing masks, collecting medical supplies, and only buying what they need from our grocery stores to save something for their neighbors. But at the end of the day, it will take all of us doing what we can to keep our community safe. As a city, we are working closely with our state and federal leaders to bring relief to individuals and businesses who are dealing with the financial ramifications of COVID-19. The decision to move forward with a safer at home order was a difficult decision for all of the members of the EPG, but it is the right thing to do for our citizens in order to keep them safe. My hope is that the steps taken today to move forward will be emulated by other counties in our region. I thank St. Petersburg Mayor Rick Kreisman 
and the Pinellas County BOCC for keeping the lines of communication open over the past few days as we've worked together to approach this as one Tampa Bay. And I'm very grateful for Pinellas County and the City of Tampa for passing a similar Safer at Home Act yesterday. The days ahead will be difficult, but the decisions we make and the actions we take today will allow us to emerge from this more quickly and as a stronger, more united and kinder community. As always, stay calm, stay kind, stay safe, stay connected, and above all else, stay home. Mayor Castor, we're gonna take a few questions, some from uh, reporters and some from the viewing audience. Charlie Frego from the Tampa Bay Times has a question. Are there any substantial changes from the original order you initially proposed um, late last week? No. So Linda Salasena asks, are there any plans to close roads for extra space as some sidewalks are not wide enough for social distancing? <laughs> yes, we are looking at that right now. We have a few ideas. Uh, Amanda Marie asks, how long is the order effective until? It's for seven days. This order, the, the um, state of emergency, lasts seven days in Hillsborough County, and we voted, the uh, emergency policy group voted today to extend that for another seven days. The uh, Safer at Home order will take effect Friday evening, tomorrow evening at 10 p.m., and that will be in effect for seven days and will have to be renewed by the EPG. One final question. What does this order mean for public transit? Public transit will remain open. That is an essential function. So individuals will still be able to uh, catch the bus. Ride shares will be available. And you can take steps. You know, there are things it's difficult to maintain six foot distance when you're taking a ride share. So I would suggest that citizens take precautions. If you have a mask, wear a mask. Uh, you know, the, the drivers, individuals that are driving those vehicles as well, take those precautions, uh, you know, sanitizing areas that an individual has touched and doing everything that you can to keep the virus from being transmitted. That's all for today. All right. Thank you all and be safe.